so welcome to this video on binomial expansion. Okay, binomial expansion is multiplying polynomials, but extra. <laughs> um, so it's got its own little special video because it's work, okay? Um, what I say at the beginning of every video, take out a sheet of paper. This skill is mandatory. You need a sheet of paper for this skill. I'm not playing, there's no games over here. Um, so definitely take out a sheet of paper, please. Um, for this wonderful little thing that we got going on here, okay? Um, so yeah, let's get let's get to it. Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. All right, so binomial expansion. I have parentheses A plus 2B to the power of three. This is the long way. You don't have to write this part down. I just want to show you that this is the long way. You can do it this way if you want to. Some of my students like doing it like this, um, but you don't have to do it. So you would write it in expanded form. So a plus two b cubed means a plus two b times a plus two b times a plus two b, okay? So first you would write it in expanded form, okay? Then you would multiply the last two. So that's a times a, a times two b, two b times a, two b times two b. Simplify, combine like terms, right? That's how I got what's in red. <sighs> then, I will multiply the last one into what I just did, okay? So a times a squared, a times 4ab, a times 4b squared, then 2b times a squared, 2b times 4ab, 2b times 4b squared. It's a lot. It's really not that bad, but it looks like a lot, okay? The method I'm about to show you, you're probably not going to like much better, but here we are, okay? So then, once I do that, then I make sure that I um, combine like terms or whatever. I don't know why I said multiply. It's just say combine like terms. Um... But I'll fix that in the video. You guys won't even know that it said multiply. <laughs> so then once you simplify that, um, then that's your answer, okay? I'm pretty sure, why does it say multiply, combine like terms? I don't know what's going on over here. This That's the answer, though. <laughs> there you go. Ta-da. I don't like the long way. I like binomial expansion, but I just got to show you the long way anyway. So... What if I have to do it four times? Well, I'll do the first two first, then the second two second, combine like terms, and then I'll multiply everything in that one, and then combine like terms. I know it's a lot. You're like, I'm not following. I know. I don't want to teach you this way. I want to teach you using Pascal's triangle. Okay. So once upon a time, there was a guy named Blaise Pascal, and he invented this triangle. He discovered, okay? Um, so what's going to happen is that I call this row zero, okay? So just come with me. The triangle and then the multiplying the polynomials is going to come, bi multiplying the binomials is going to come together. I promise. Just wait. This is row zero. This is row one. This is row two. This is row three. This is row four. Row five. Row six. Row seven. It's important. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do it because <laughs> I feel like I can already sense like my students. <laughs> They're like, I don't know what's happening right now. That's okay. Okay. So I have K plus five to the power of three. So I'm going to use row three, which is one three, three, one. Everybody look at that? Okay, good. The triangle, one, three, three, one. That's your first thing. Look at the triangle, find your coefficients. One, three, three, one. Okay. I'm gonna get the triangle out of there, right? The first term in your binomial is K. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a K here, a K here, a K here, and a K here, okay? The second term is a five. So I'm gonna put a five, a five, a five, and a five, right? So then um, on the Ks, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a three on the first one and then I'm gonna go down. So two, one, zero exponents. I'm gonna do the opposite for the fives. So I'm gonna start with zero. I'm gonna go to one, two, and then three, right? So I'm gonna simplify. What I know is that five to the zero power equals one. Um, so K cubed is all that's left here because K cubed times one times one is just K cubed. So let's move on to the second row or second column, right? I have three times k squared times five to the first power. So we'll just do um, three times five, right? And that's 15 and then the k squared comes down. So in the third column, what I need to do is I need to do the three times the five squared. Five squared is 25. So three times 25 is 75. Um, and then the k to the first power just comes down as k, right? And then in the last column, I have one 
times one, right? Because k to the zero power is one. So one times one is one times five cubed. Five cubed is 125. So one times one times 125 is still 125, okay? Those were all positive numbers. So what gets to happen is my final answer is just k cubed plus 15k squared plus 75k plus 125. Maybe. <laughs> we'll do another one. It's fine. Um, you might like the box method a little bit better, okay? Um, these are just ways to organize your work. So I have x plus 2 quantity squared. You should be able to do this almost probably in your head. But for the sake of showing you this method, I'm going to do this problem, even though I would not use Pascal's problem, Pascal's triangle to do this problem. So, okay, you're going to find a row of Pascal's triangle. So in this case, row 2 is 1, 2, 1. And then the first term is x. That's why I did x squared, x to the first, x to the zero. Second term is 2, so 2 to the zero, 2 to the first, 2 to the squared. Notice how I go up for one and down for the other one. I'm going to simplify by multiplying the columns, right? So 1 times x squared times 2 to the zero, zero power, so that's 1x squared. And then 2 times x times 2, so that's going to be 4, because 2 times 2 is 4, and then the x comes down. And then I'm going to do 1 times 1 times 2 squared, because x to the zero power is still 1, and I'm going to get 4. Yes? <laughs> um, so my final answer is going to be x squared plus 4x plus 4. I'm just hoping that it's coming together. Okay, so that was a box method. I'm going to do the same problem with the columns that I just did. You decide whether or not you like them. Okay? Um, so same problem. We're looking at Pascal's triangle, and I need a 2 because my exponent is 2, right? So row 2 tells me that my coefficients are going to be 1, 2, 1. So after I do that, it's already 419. That's crazy. Um, I'm going to take the x. I'm going to get rid of that Pascal. I was trying the x, put an x, put an x. And then I'm going to put a 2, put a 2, put a 2. I'm going to do my x bonus. 2, 1, 0, and then 0, 2. I mean 0, 1, 2. So I'm going to simplify, right? So 1 times x squared times 2 to the 0 power. I'm going to get x squared. And then because, again, 2 to the 0 power is 1. I don't need the 1 if it's going to be the coefficient. Um, 2 times x times 2. 4x, because 2 times 2 is 4, and then the x is to the first power, and then I'm going to get 4 times 1 times 1, so just 4. So this is my final answer. Yay! Okay, I'm going to get more complicated now. Okay, so the first thing I have to look at is Pascal's triangle, and once I look at Pascal's triangle, I am going to find row 3, because it's to the third power, right? So when I do that, I know Pascal's triangle, I have a one, three, three, one, okay? So I do my first term, which is 6m in this case, 6m cubed, 6m squared, 6m to the first power, 6m to the zero power, right? I do my second term, which is negative eight, so negative eight in parentheses to the zero power, negative eight to the first power, negative eight to the second power, negative eight to the third power. After I do that, I'm going to multiply downwards in the column, so one, times 6m cubed times negative 8 to the 0 power, okay? Negative 8 to the 0 power is just 1, so I don't even need that, right? So 6m cubed is what I'm working with. So what is 6 cubed? 216. What is m cubed? m cubed, right? So that's what comes down. Times 1, times 1. I don't need the ones, okay? Stay with me. I have a 3 on top. I have a 6 squared, so that's a 36. So there's a 3, there's a 36, and then there's a negative 8. So I have to do 3, 36, negative 8, all multiplied by each other, okay? And then the m squared comes down. It's a lot, I know. So then I'm going to do the 3 in the next column. We're going to do the 3 times the 6 times negative 8 squared, which is positive 64. So 3 times 6 times 64, positive 1152. Bring down the m, please. And then last but not least, I have 1 times one, because anything to the zero power is one, and then negative eight cubed. Negative eight cubed is negative five twelve. So my final answer, whew, 216 m cubed minus 864 m plus 11 m plus 1152 m minus 512, okay? Okay, you pick what you want. Last one, you should try this one on your own. Pascal's triangle, I'll start you off though, but then you need to pause the video. Look at the triangle, find row what? Row five. Row five. Okay. You should be pausing this video and trying by yourself. Okay. So 
So first term is x. So x5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Uh, second term, negative 5, negative 5. In parentheses, to the 0, to the 1, to the 2, to the 3, to the 4, to the 5. This is just process right now, just algorithm, okay? Simplifying is where you actually doing just a little bit of math. Just a little bit, okay? Um, so I have a 1 times an x to the 5th times an 1, right? So that's just x to the 5th. Then I have a 5 times an x to the 4th times a negative 5. Negative 25 x to the 4th. Now we're about to get crazy. Because so I have a 10, I have an x cubed, and I have a 20, 25. Because negative 5 squared is 25, right? So that's 250 x cubed. So then I'm going to have 10 x squared, negative 5 cubed is negative 125. So negative 125 times 10. Okay, and then bring down the x squared. So then I'm going to have 5x, negative 5 to the fourth power. 3125, bring down the x. And then I have 1 times 1, because x to the 0 power is 1, and then negative 5 to the fifth power. Okay, negative 3125. That's crazy. So that is our final answer, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. Um, like I said at the end of the video, what should you be doing? You need to take out a sheet of paper and you need to go through these examples, see if you can do them on your own. Binomial expansion is hard. Pick a method. How do you like it organized? In a grid or do you like it organized in the columns? Pick one and do you boo. See you in the next one.